go out to Brandon Foos now. And Brandon, how are things looking in Incline Village tonight? Well, Landon, it's been snowing steadily for the last few hours, but it's gotten lighter in the last 10, 15 minutes here, but the roads are still really bad. State Route 28, 28 is messy. That's why we're standing in this Rayleigh's parking lot. It's just safer to be here. Earlier today, more than 7,000 customers were without power, but good news, according to NB Energy's website, all but a few have been restored. But this morning, it was difficult for some without power. We broke the cord on the snowblower, and the only way we can start it is by electric start. So made it a tough morning, but we made it through it. Despite the snowy conditions, power was restored to thousands around 2.15 this afternoon. The remaining 3,600 customers or so were without power until a little less than an hour ago. Some of those customers that just got power back include businesses at Incline Business Park. Sunshine Deli closed all day and Incline Village Tire Department had to turn people away while they waited for the power to come back on. I spoke with another resident who had to work from home but couldn't do anything without Wi-Fi. So it was a tough day for workers. Looks like the public library and in uh, the Ivy Coffee Lab are both out of power as of now. And um, those are kind of my go-to Wi-Fi spots, so I can't really get too much Wi-Fi right now. Came in hoping we we're going to get power, um, uh, didn't, and so uh, people that wanted to move around safely and install their winter tires, so we were not able to do it. So. And obviously these snowy conditions contribute to some of the delays in restoring power for Envy Energy workers dealing with this weather. And even though the, the snow is lightening up a little bit, everyone should stay off Mount Rose Highway, stay around 28 and US 50 around Lake Tahoe. It's just too messy out here tonight. Covering the story live in Incline Village, Brandon Foose, 2 News.